Welcome to SSC Tube Tutorials. Through this initiative, we will try to provide you a smart platform which concentrates on quality education through videos. Now you need not learn all the useless topics. Here we will concentrate only on the topics from which questions have come in the past and are expected in the coming exams. Our first lecture will be on allegations. The basic question here is how allegation is useful in SSC CGL exam. As analyzed in previous CGL exams, out of 50, only 2 or 3 direct questions come from this topic. By direct, I mean the questions based on mixtures. But many of us don't know that allegation, if mastered, can be used in many other problems, including questions based on interests and areas. So, today we will take easy problems to understand the concept and then we will move to complex problems in next lectures. Okay, so let us discuss the first problem. It is based on percentage. So, suppose we are having two alloys of gold and iron. In the first alloy, gold is 50% by weight and in the second alloy, gold is 10% by weight. In what ratio should we mix the two alloys so that the resultant alloy has 20% gold by weight? As you know, this problem can be solved by using simple algebra, but we are going to use here allegation only so that our solution is simple and fast. Okay, so let's see its solution. We write on the top as alloy 1 and alloy 2. Then the gold percentage. It is 50% in alloy 1 and 10% in alloy 2. And the resultant what we want is 20%. So we are going to solve it in a cross. That is 50 minus 20 would be 30% and 20 minus 10 would be 10%. The thing here to notice is that we always take positive values. So the ratio would be 10 is to 30%. That is 1 is to 3. So if we take one part of alloy 1 and mix it with three parts of alloy 2, then in the resultant we would have 20% of the gold by weight. You can easily see that allegation will save your valuable time in the exam. So now we move to problem number 2. This problem will be based on ratios of ingredients of the mixture. Suppose we have two solutions of water and acid. In the first solution, the ratio of acid to water is 3 is to 4. In the second solution, the ratio of acid to water is 5 is to, sorry, 1 is to 5. In what ratio these two solutions should be mixed so that the final solution has acid to water ratio as 1 is to 2? I would strongly suggest you to solve these kind of problems using allegation only. If you try to solve these problems using simple algebra, it will take a lot of time. Okay, so let's see how this problem can be solved using allegation. On the top, we write as solution 1 and solution 2. The acid ratio is 3 is to 4 and 1 is to 5. And in the resultant, we want it to be 1 is to 2. We are doing it the in the similar way we did in the percentage problem. But it is wrong here. In the percentage problem, we need not write the total percentage because it is always 100%. But here, in the denominator, we need to write the total of acid and water and not just the water part. Okay, so let's see the right way of doing it. We again write solution 1 and solution 2 on the top. Here, the acid to total ratio would be 3 is to 7 in solution 1 and 1 is to 6 in solution 2. And so is the case with resultant. That is, it would be 1 is to 3. This is the right way to solve the question. So, after this, we will do it in the similar way. That is, from left to right, we will subtract and write the solution. 3 by 7 minus 1 by 3 is 2 is to 21. And 1 by 3 minus 1 by 6 is 1 is to 6. Again, we are writing them without any signs. Final ratio can be obtained by dividing 1 is to 6 to 2 is to 21. So, it will give 7 is to 4 as the final ratio of solution 1 and solution 2. Today, we discuss these two easy problems to understand the concept of allegation. You can practice more questions based on these concepts. In the next lecture, we will take more complex problems of allegation and mixture. So, I hope this video will help you in your exams. Thank you for subscribing to SSC.